Hey guys, Matt here, rcgroups.com. Just when you thought there were no other ways to reinvent the Easy Star type of airframe, the awesome people at ReadyMade RC have come up with a brand new design with new materials and a few innovations along the way, and it's called the Stratosurfer. It's sitting here in front of you. Now this is a Strix airframe. Strix is a house brand of ReadyMade RC. I have a couple of their airframes. I have the Goblin that's coming up for review next. I recently did the uh, Strix Alatus review, and here we have the Stratosurfer. Now one of the major innovations is the plastic fuselage that this one has. It's uh, injection molded plastic. It's very durable. You don't get the cheese grater effect on the bottom that you do with foam. Uh, it can take a, a pretty good licking here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front of it here. One thing you may notice is that I cut a hole in the front and stuck this Runcam Swift up there. Yeah, it's not the cleanest job and the tape really doesn't do anything but just uh, keep the air from going in. I've used a piece of foam inside of here and I mounted the camera on the foam then pushed it straight through. So it sits really nicely, gives you a good forward facing look without all the drag. On the uh, cockpit cover here, I just cut it out and glued, it, uh, glued this top piece onto the bottom here and then cut it out so I could take this Legend 2 by Fox Ear and just slide it right in there like that. And now I've got my video camera, my HD camera looking forward. We got the FPV camera on the front and still pretty good low drag setup. So with the cover off here, we'll pull that right off. We have a look inside the fuselage. It's very spacious. There's lots of room. You can see the, uh, the micro vector fit in there nicely with plenty of room to spare. There's all sorts of room inside of here for a large battery and I chose a 3S5000 which gives it plenty of flight time. If we go out back, you'll see that I have the, the Vectors GPS puck. And this beauty right here, antenna, is a Dragonlink 433 megahertz long range. So it fits nicely through this hole that's already there for the uh, mounting pad that's on the back. You could put a VTX back here if you want. I chose not to. This is just a great place for the Vector away from all of the electromagnetic interference and stuff. Now on the back here, ReadyMade decided to go slightly different and get a smaller prop on here with a higher KV. This is a 2212, I think, 2200 KV motor on a 6x4. I think 6x3 is what it ships with. I put a 6x4 on there. And uh, puts out about 20 amps, a little bit less than that at full throttle, and has really no problems pushing this thing around really fast. Uh, it's kind of different. A lot of, a lot of guys like to, to stack the motor higher, put a big you know, seven or eight inch prop on there, but this little six by four gives you plenty thrust and lots of top speed. So kind of the opposite end of the spectrum than what we're used to for this Easy Star type model. Now out on the wing, I've embedded a right hand circular polarized Singularity 1200. This is a true RC from Hugo at uh, True RC Canada, and he was nice enough to send me one of these. This is a very, very low drag antenna for 1280. You see a lot of the big Omni antennas that fit on here, and they do put a lot of drag out. I just cut a hole, put it right through there, and then you can see on the bottom here where I covered it over with tape, and then here is my RMRC 1280 uh, 600 milliwatt VTX. So I've done lots of flying with the Stratosurfer. It flies really well. I had Matt Nowakowski chase me around with a quad in a different review. But what I want to do is take it to my little spot and do some proximity flying, some fast and low flying yank and bank stuff, and show you just how well the Strix Stratosurfer performs. So let's go ahead and head out to the field and I will show you how she flies. All right, we're out here at the spot. It's a beautiful morning. There's really no wind at all, just light and variable breeze. Uh, looks like it's out of the south. Got acres and acres to explore out here with the Strato Surfer. Uh, I've got a uh, 3S5000 and a 3S4000 that I'm gonna run in it. And uh, we're gonna go out and just do some proximity flying, see if we can uh, not crash it into the ground or hit any trees or anything like that. Let's go ahead and fly the Strato Surfer. 
and see how she does.